Tonight, I'm going to express my disappointment in the Lego group. So, the new Lego X-Men X-Jet, set number 76281. 359 pieces, four minifigures. Wolverine, Cyclops, Magneto, Rogue. X-Men 1997, the X-Men X-Jet. Again, 359 pieces, four minifigures. $85. Hear me out here. So, Lego, in my opinion, was feeding off the nostalgia and the fans desperation for an X-Men set, these minifigures, and they said, you know what, let's slap this ridiculous price tag, $85 for this set. Now, keep this in mind, uh, Lego's already done it with Star Wars countless times over. Uh, the Five of First Battle Pack is something that strikes me as one of those where it's like, let's get the fans to spend a little extra money. But, all right, so keep this in mind. This is the new Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. 215 pieces. This set has one, two, three, four minifigures, three new Super Battle Droids, two Battle Droids, 30 bucks. This right here, this is a freaking bargain. 215 pieces, four minifigures, three new Super Battle Droids, which hasn't been around for quite some time. $30. Lego, you did good here. $85 for the X-Wing, or the uh, the X-Jet. Here we have the Republic Fighter Tank. 262 pieces, four minifigures. You get a phenomenal Mace Windu, 187th Legion Clone Troopers, which everyone loves having Clone Troopers. This was a $40 set, 262 pieces, four minifigures, two battle droids. Wow, that's a, that's a solid price there. You guys are starting to uh, understand where I'm coming from here. Another licensed theme, which I forgot to mention. Licensed themes always cost more. We have Dobby here. Dobby the house elf. Harry Potter theme. 403 pieces. Now, it's not always something to judge the piece or judge the set by the piece count, but it is a factor in a way. $35 for this set. I mean, shit. You would think that given the price on the X-Men X-Jet, that this set right here would be like, I don't know, 90 bucks or something like that. It'd be some like ridiculous price here. I mean, the eyes on this thing, um, they had to specially make those printed pieces, but hey, it's got a printed die piece, I think. I haven't put it together yet. $35 for a four to three piece set. No minifigures, we'll give them that, but it's a licensed theme. So you're starting to see here, how how is Lego coming up with such a crazy price for the X-Men X-Jet. Now we have Super Mario Bowser's Muscle Car, 458 pieces. Again, no minifigures for this one, but it's a licensed theme. This is $30. And I have a review of the set. It's pretty freaking cool. You get a Bowser figure, not a figure, but a Bowser build here. You get a cool muscle car there, and it's really cool. I mean, hey, 458 pieces. $30. And we're just going to like go down the line here. Um, something else I'm going to be reviewing, this is this Lion Dance Pack. Sorry, I put it behind me because I didn't think I had the box there. This is $20, a non-licensed theme, 239 pieces. It's a brick head. It's usually they're $10, $20. Uh, I actually think this costs $8. Sorry, correction. Not a licensed theme. I'm just showing you some examples. Now we have a Mickey Disney brick heads. 120 pieces, this was 10 bucks. I'm gonna have a review of this too. Just some examples of different things you can get for your money. Look, stay away from this set. Do not buy the X-Men X Jet set until we prove a point as a fan base that Lego needs to do better with their pricing. They clearly knew that fans really wanted X-Men, the X Jet, the minifigures, in particular and say, you know what, let's just hit them with an $85 price. It's terrible. I, I can't believe they did it. And I'm not even like the biggest X-Men fan. And I want this set. I know X-Men. I like X-Men. I know they're going to be part of like the Marvel Universe, all that stuff. But come on, $85. There's, there's no way that that set should be 80 
five dollars. Um, the Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, like they can get away with stuff like that because you get a set that's with that piece count and you get a big dinosaur, which is a figure that could be worth twenty dollars. Or even Marvel, where you get like the big figs, you get your Thanos, you get your Hulk. Like you can make an argument for some of those because you're getting those big figs. Uh, Star Wars, where if you're going to get like like a Rancor, for example, where you can justify those bigger figures to make up for the price. This set does not have any of that. Like, let me know what y'all think. I know I'm rambling on here. That was the whole point of this video. Check out my channel. Subscribe if you guys already haven't. All these sets are built, reviewed for the most part, on the page. Some of them are new. We got the new battle pack here. We got the new Super Mario Bowser's muscle car here. These uh, brick heads will be on review here. I'm working on that tonight. Dobby's gonna get built. It looks like a cool set. Um, the Republic Fighter Tanks reviewed. Tons of cool stuff on the channel. Stay away from the X-Men X-Jet set until it goes on sale. Let's come together as a fan base and tell Lego, you need to do better with your pricing. And we know that you are ripping fans off with this price tag, with this price point. This set's definitely not worth 85 bucks. And in my opinion, the Lego group took advantage of fans here and they knew that the fans wanted it, that we were desperate for it. And they decided that they would gouge us with their price and it's not the right thing to do. Thank y'all for watching and looking forward to seeing you in the next video.